My name is James Canada. I'm a contractor with Airtech, currently working for Placer American. Before Aviation Institute of Maintenance, I was a cook at a bar in Norfolk, Virginia. I had a friend that was interested in the school, so I, I gave him a ride, and instead of sitting in the car, he suggested I come in, and I sat with the admissions administrator, went on the tour, and she started asking me questions about well, how much money I was making and you know what kind of career path that I was, I was thinking about. And I, I said that I was a chef, and then she asked me how much money I was making. She sold me on the idea that aviation maintenance technicians are definitely in demand and that the schooling is, is more than adequate. So I signed up. Learning about aerodynamics and physics gave me a better knowledge about how things worked around the world. And we started to apply these things in the various courses in airframes and power plants. The advice that I would offer to a prospective student is that this is a commitment much like any other commitment that you can make, that if you put the time in for this commitment, it will pay a dividend. The potential for growth is, is astounding. Each year, we're losing more and more highly qualified, highly certified mechanics. And there's an abundance of knowledge and wealth of information. These older mechanics are just like these instructors. They, they enjoy their job to the point where they're willing to pass this along. If you have a dream, or if you have an aspiration, if you are even slightly mechanically inclined, you will be given all of the tools necessary if you apply yourself and you give it your all. We need mechanics that are willing to put in the time and the effort to do the job right, to take on this risk take on this, this mantle.